sparked us to do better in this. But we're going to see. Uh, spin move. Oh, oh, Meech. See, the difference between me, when I do what I do, I'm doing what I'm doing. But I'm doing it like I do it for TV. Ooh. We back. We back. We back. We back. <laughs> hey, coach, can I talk to you for a second? Sure, Jennings, go ahead. Hey, so I know we were down 31 to 10 and we made the comeback, but what made you go for two? And what made you trust me to go up the middle with it? You know, especially since I wasn't one that can't go up the field all like that. You know, Jennings, in my years of coaching, one thing I've always noticed as a coach is momentum. The plays that you made were momentum shifters. Even when you were down 31 to 10, even though we were down 17 to three, you made clutch plays that made me say, hey, we can still win this game. You got that game time touchdown, that potential game time touchdown with two seconds left. I knew it was the right choice to go for two and have you run it. Why? Because I seen something. That Notre Dame team was weak after that. They were deflated. And the only way to destroy them from the inside out is to have you run it right into their hearts. Plus, Notre Dame hates us. So, of course, if they want to stop us from getting to the natty, they had their chance right there. <laughs> Good point. Good point. Yeah, but it's just, I, I, I just it's just so crazy because I didn't expect you to trust me. Son, let me tell you something. You might be a Heisman Trophy winner. And you might be the leader, the heart of this entire team. As much as you are the Heisman Trophy winner, I trust these players just as much as I trust you. But when it came to you, I know you had something to prove after having your spot taken for that game. Yeah, good point. But hey, appreciate you, coach. Hey, appreciate you. Now we need to go out here, get ready for Ohio State. They're waiting on us at the gate. Hey, I'm living my life like it came with a sequel. I'm whipping the wrist like I shoot as the eagles. We run with the mob, dropping hits like the Beatles. The Harlem's just shooting them bullets, be lethal. I'm serving the pad like I'm running on diesel. That bullet just came in from China, illegal. I'm painting her face like it's back in medieval. Game two of them glizzies, they pull like a needle. Hey, hopping on a plane with a ratchet in my hand. Pop another sand, half an hour till I land. Got a little shorty and went to Japan. Cause I'm thinking I'm pivot, my sauce never bland. She all in my phone, but she don't want a man to me. She fell in love before I got the bands. Got me dripping the sauce, I can't stick to the plan. I'll be dressing all white like I move with the clan. What's up with you guys? This is the kid Steel City Meach coming back to you for another Meach Jennings Road to Glory series. This week we're going against Ohio State. And if you didn't watch the last video, you might want to just go ahead and watch that real quick, man. I won't spoil it for you. Go ahead, watch that right now. But for the people who did watch it, man, you watched a 31 to 10 comeback with less than six minutes to go. Meach scoring two TDs. And in the process, of getting a game-winning two-point conversion to beat Notre Dame 32 to 31, dude, it, it's just crazy. It's crazy that we came out with that victory. But I know for a fact that certain people are looking at us as overrated, and I don't blame them. In these two games, we were trailing for a majority of the game, and then, you know, we come back in on the last drive and win. So honestly, I don't blame anybody for thinking that we're a little overrated. We got to do better. Um. Taking a look at Meech Dennings, he's still a 98 overall. I'm not I'm not changing anything. Uh, I did give him some new sleeves real quick. Um, I did just realize something, right? I keep on forgetting, like, I can I can switch. I can actually switch these. So in terms of cleats and everything. So these are the new mid cleats and everything. But I also forgot I can switch these to Jordan if I want to. And that's what I'm actually going to do right now. I'm going to switch these to Jordan because, I don't know, I, I just got a weird feeling that these are going to look really dope, honestly. Um, I'm going with this look that I wore against uh, North Carolina last year in the last season of the Meech Jennings series where he went off for nine total TDs. Um, but I, I kind of wanted to go with this look and everything because, I don't know, I was, I was really feeling it. But, uh, yeah, man. I got a feeling Columbus, Ohio is going to be rocking and Ohio State is going to look to destroy our season completely off this game. But as the reigning Heisman Trophy winner and the number one ranked team in the country, 
we got to do what we got to do. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, man, what we want Ohio State to wear? Um, mm -mm 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 -mm. I, I really do like these jerseys a lot. Uh, they're really dope. Should I have to wear the gray? I don't know. I'm kind of feeling the gray. The gray is actually a great look, honestly. Yeah, let's have them. Let's have them wear gray. I don't know. I'm kind of feeling that. And then for us, I was thinking maybe we can wear the blue on the road, but I don't know. I don't know. Now, let's go white. Let's go white. I'll keep it like this. Let's wear the blue joints, and then we go from there, and then let's go white cleats. Yeah, I'm, I'm always a fan of the white cleats. Those always go crazy. But without further ado, you guys, we're pretty much outrated. So they have all the ratings above us and dog there's no telling what what can happen in this game man so without further ado we ain't gonna waste no more time let's go let's get into it Let's get it, man. Our first trip to the horseshoe since the 1990s, man. As a number one team, we got a target on our back now, including from the team from the ACC, man, but this is our biggest test so far. Actually, that's a lot. It's our second biggest. Then it'll be our third biggest once we face Clemson, but you get the idea. Let's get it. Meach Jennings, do what you gotta do. I'm going to do what I got to do. You know what I'm saying? Uh. And as y'all can see, Davis is still starting. So we're still going with the, you know, the shtick for the most part right now. Then they'll see what they want to do from there. Make sure you give that off to Davis. Let's go. Good job, Davis. Great job. Great job. Yes, sir. As y'all can see, we're going from the wide receiver screen. If you watched the last game, that's what sparked us to do better in this. But we're going to see. Uh, spin move. Oh, oh, Meech. See, the difference between me, when I do what I do, I'm doing what I'm doing, but I'm doing it like I do it for TV. Ooh. We back, we back, we back, we back. As y'all can see, man, in that wide receiver position, Meech Jennings is getting accustomed to it. But come on now. Let's go. Let's keep on building it. Come on, let's go. Oh, you're a little fast. Uh, let's go. Turn again, of course. We got to do what we got to do. Oh, find me. I'm open. Spin move. Ooh, good catch. That's a first down. I think the fun thing about doing Road to Glories like this in Dynasty, I think it's just the fact that you're responsible for your own play calls. So, oh, he could have found me. All right, it's all good though, it's all good. All right, third and four. Ugh. Ah, it's all good, it's all good. Like for example, like this, we're responsible for our own calls. So if we mess up, there's nobody we could blame. Four finishes, man, come on. Wow, they made me, wait, did he still get that? He did, good job by Davis. Um, Davis is out of the game, just catching his breath. So Meech Jennings is going to come in. Let's go. Uh, let's go. Good first. All right, y'all. First and goal. Come on. Give me the... Wow. A glitch play. If he gives me the ball, it's an easy touchdown. I'm going up that hole. I don't really have a good route, but... Oh, find me. I'm open. I'm open. Yes, sir. Oh, why did I spin? That was stupid. That was stupid. All right, you guys, Ohio State scores a touchdown. I think that's one of the reasons I wanted us to get a touchdown, but hey, man, there ain't no telling. Oh, all right. And so they got Davis out there in the slot position. Then they got me doing it. All right, that's cool. I'm fine with that. Uh, had to get upfield a little bit. Got us nine yards. Sweet. Let's do that. Mm. All right, y'all, first and 10. 
Mm, okay. That was that was good coverage. I couldn't do whatever, but it's all good. Back in the game. Find me. Ah, let's go. Found me again. It's crazy that I'm the only one getting open because I don't really call for the ball like that. 39, we kind of need something right here. Uh, don't force that. He probably didn't get it. Yeah, it's all good though. All right, y'all, we're going to watch the field goal because you know EA. You know how they do. Oh, we got a black kicker. Oh, that's so rare. All right, say less. What do you got? Good job. We got a minute 45 less. Let's see what we can do. Use your legs, yelling. Use your legs, good blocks. Let's go, see? This is why I like using these read options. Dude, yelling has speed, underrated speed at that. And especially with the blocks that we're getting, dude, these can work like a charm. Go. Oh, oh, let's go. Yeah, man, I'm starting to use those double jukes a little bit more now. Right now, coach likes us at that running back position, so he's just gonna keep on feeding me for the most part. Ah, two yards. Oh, they actually got me double teamed. Yeah. Ah, good thing he didn't throw that to me. But good job for finding somebody. That's Jacques Louis, first down. I'm not saying that, but I mean, ugh. All right. All right, child, they're gonna run a screen, and I'm gonna just do what I gotta do, so hopefully they get something out of it. I see that they did complete it. Uh, Yes, let's go, good job. I think he did get out of bounds too, so dope, man. So dude, come on, we gotta get this one. Oh, that's on me, that's on me, that was stupid. If you remember the last game, we had a situation just like this, man. So dog, I gotta get something. Dang, coming out the game, and dang, we still can't get anything. All right, so I guess we'll just go ahead and get the points. So yeah, man, that's the end of the um half, man, 16-14. Dude, we, we haven't had the best of luck scoring so fast. But, hey, man, it's going to be kind of different, I guess. But that's just how it is. All right, y'all. First and 10, we get ball because Ohio State does not score. So let's try to... Ah! You see that I'm trying to I'm trying to cut it up field more, but we'll see where we go from there. First and 10, after I came out for a play... Find me, find me. Oh, you had to, oh, you gotta pitch that off. If he pitches that off, oh, I got space and I got one man to beat. Come on now. All right, y'all, this time they got me on the screen. So we gonna see what we do from here. Find me, find me. Just get the, oh, get out the way. Oh man, not only did the dude not get the block, I had to get off and he somehow ran into me. Just all in the worst place at the worst time. An, an actual type of, you know, route. But ah, fourth and one. Now, coach has us going for it, man. Come on. I got to get a block. Oh, he went to the outside. Wow, so much for taking it upfield. I mean, he still got the first, though. So, though, he plays right now because he's just getting a breather. So, that means I get to run the Wildcat for the one time. Uh. Ah, all right. All right, y'all. So, we're going to. Oh, snap. No, they're actually going for it. Oh, I thought they were going to go for the field goal. I thought we were going to go for the field goal. All right. I guess I get to watch us do this, and uh, that's not a good one. Nah. Yeah, running the screen. I don't know about that. Dang. Uh, 22 to 16 after we can't convert the fourth down conversion, man. So, dude, we got to make a play again. Ah, get off me. Let's go. Coach likes this formation. I like this formation too, so I'm fine with it. But I ah, can't can't get that block. All right, you guys. It's the end of the third quarter. We're going into the fourth. And once again, we are getting one of the another another close game, man. This is this is gonna be crazy. We don't even know what's gonna happen. And coach knows what time this is. So now he knows it's time to bring in Meach Jennings for this fourth quarter. Let's go. Let me get those blocks. Ah, let's go. Good job by Meech in these areas, man. So we got to get a score. Oh, run him over. Let's go. Talking about get up the field. Meech Jennings is getting his strength. Let's get it. Ohio State gets the score, but they can't get the two-point conversion. All right, now. 
Like I said, this game is going to be crazy, man. We're going down to the wire again. And no other dude to go down the wire with than the great Meech Jennings. Are you serious right now? Ladies and gentlemen, the GOAT. What are you saying? How did he take that? I don't even know how he took that. Dude, how many people did he have to make miss in that situation? What a clutch play. So I'm out the game right now because I just ran a long kickoff return. But man, we got to go for two. So coach is going to draw up something just straight up the middle. Let's go. Good job. Up by three. Let's go. They're actually going to go for it. Wow. Y'all, look at this. They're actually going to go for it right now. They're in field goal range to tie the game. I don't know why they're going for it, but I mean, I'm not going to say too much about it. Let's just stop them. Uh, uh, let's go. The defense comes up clutch again. Ladies and gentlemen, how do you like, can you make this up right now? What is happening? Oh man, we got to put this one. Oh my gosh, Meech is running half. Oh my goodness. Wow. Meech is, Meech is running hard. All right, y'all, we're going with the Wildcat. This might be smart, it might be not, but either way, we're going to see. Just give me those blocks. Uh, get to the outside. There we go. Oh, I backed up because I didn't think he was going to get it, but good job, though. Great job. Yeah, see, look, I, I didn't think I was going to get away from this one. I actually could have took it, but hey, man, it is what it is. Stayed in bounds, too. All right, you guys, first and 10. We're going to have Davis run it now, and I'm, a, and I'm a fan of that. Get him some good yards. Let's go, six. That's a good six. Second and four. Coach is going to have me run it now. Oh, there's no blocking. Ah, all right, all right. Y'all, we got to we gotta get this. All right, y'all, third and four. We're going to pass it. It'll be risky, but I mean, hey, uh, find me. I'm open. Let's go. Clutch catch by Meech, and they're out of timeouts. The only reason why I wanted to go out for the pass because their run, their run defense was good for the most part up to this whole entire game. How they're gonna do this? I guess I get the ball. Uh, good job. Have us run it again. Oh, the only reason why I took it that way is because I seen that that safety coming around. It was either a safety or it was a linebacker. They're gonna give it to Davis, make sure he carries the low too while you were at it. Um, I think he got it, let's go! Good job by Davis. Nine yards, and that's pretty much game, man. There we go. Dog, what a game. Once again, Meech comes up with the clutch touchdown to put us up, and dude, you can't really make it up. You can't really make that up, man. He had 100 yards, uh, receiving i'm positive he had 100 yards rushing i think he was at 99 i think yeah he was at 99 yards rushing it's actually funny because he hasn't rushed for over 100 yards this whole entire game or this whole entire season so far so dude we go three and zero in the non-conference schedule and we completely do what we got to do dude they were not easy at all not easy at all but now we get to go to the bye week undefeated and ranked number one, beating all three ranked teams. And hey, man, there's no telling what we can do. We just got to make sure we don't have a pit letdown. As you can see, we have the bye week, man. So um, I'm going to make sure I do, uh, you know, do some little storylines here for the bye week, too, while I'm at it. But I'm going to just go ahead and go to the next week all right you guys so now we're in the next week let's get to look at the um polls right now your pit panthers and meach jennings are number one clemson is right behind us too going to the acc schedule as well three georgia four oklahoma five alabama six michigan seven texas eight florida state nine auburn and ten Ole miss and yada 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 you get the idea doesn't matter um but yeah man like as you can see like dude this is as authentic as it gets i don't know how we're still number one in the heisman because dude we only have had two rushing touchdowns so far and we're like severely under what we did but hey we also do have three you know receiving wise so dude that's kind of dope and then we have two kickoff returns man and two kickoff returns that came at the clutches position so 
I think I guess that's the reason they got us still there. But hey, man, I don't I don't really blame them for that. And to make matters even like funnier and crazy about this season and this series, we have to go against another ranked team. So this is four straight weeks that the Pitt Panthers play that they have to go against the ranked opponent. So dude, that's that's crazy. And then just looking at the advanced week, we would probably have to face another ranked team in Wake. Then we have another bye. And then we have to face Clemson. Like, look, look, I can't, I can't make up what the ACC does. Look, whatever the ACC does, I have no control over that. I mean, I have no control over any of these other teams except for my team itself. So when I faced Washington, they were ranked. So I said, cool. When I faced Notre Dame, they were ranked. I said, cool. Ohio State, I knew they were going to be ranked. All right. Now, Louisville, Wake, then we go to a bye, then Clemson. Oh, yeah, that's that's going to low-key be torture. So, there's a possibility we don't stop facing a ranked team in until week 10. <laughs> so, there is a, like, legit possibility because UNC is ranked too, and we got them right after Clemson. That's a trap game. Even though they're coming back to Pittsburgh, that's a trap game. We might not face an unranked team until week 10. And even then, we would have Duke, Georgia Tech. And then 12, 13, 14, we have at number 19, Virginia. So there's a possibility they're ranked. At Virginia Tech, there's a possibility they're ranked. Then Miami comes back to Pittsburgh and they're going to be ranked, possibly. So, dude, there's a lot of mayhem going in for this Meech Jennings Road to Glory series. I know some people were calling them overrated for escaping, but then we have another chance to prove why we're not overrated, man. But so, dude. Anyways, you guys, that's all that's here for this video today, man. Stick around, man. You're going to have to watch this. So, subscribe to the channel. Do what you got to do. Man, share us with your friends. While you at it, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, the OG channel. Links in the description will be down below, but until then, it's the Kids Still City Meach. I'm out.